I'm very quickly going to show you how you can use AI tools, in this case, Microsoft Copilot, to generate VBA code for you. As you can imagine, this is a complete game changer. Instead of having to learn how to write VBA code, you can simply get AI tools to generate it for you. Now, as I mentioned, my tool of choice is going to be Copilot in Bing, but you could equally do this using something like ChatGPT. So let's take a look at a basic example. Now on the screen here, I have some data. This is just some information about winter Olympic athletes. And you can see that currently it's not really formatted. Now in a real world scenario, it wouldn't take me too long to reformat this manually. I could apply bold headings, I could resize the columns. But if this is something that I had to do on a daily or weekly basis, this is the perfect candidate for automation using VBA code. So what I want to do here is I want to use VBA to bold the heading row, to resize or auto fit all rows and columns, and then export this as a PDF and save it to my desktop. So let's jump across to Copilot and type in our prompt. Now, if you've never used Copilot before, this is the free version of Copilot. So all you need to do is open up a browser. I've got Edge open and go to copilot.microsoft.com. And this has a very similar interface to ChatGPT. You simply type in your prompt at the bottom, send it through. So I've already constructed my prompt, so let's read through it. And remember with prompts, the more detailed and explicit you are, the better. So my prompt is, I have an Excel worksheet named Athletes containing a table with the following fields, name, sport, nationality, age, and weight kg. Can you please generate VBA code to auto fit all rows and columns in the sheet, bold the header row and save to my desktop. And then I've listed out the exact path of my desktop as a PDF file. Please provide step-by-step -step instructions. So I've added that part onto the end so that it tells me exactly the steps I need to take in order to achieve this. So let's send this through by clicking the submit button. Copilot's going to go away. It's going to think about it for a few moments and check it out. It's now generating the VBA code. Then underneath the code it's going to give me some step by step instructions. So it's telling me to implement this. I need to open my Excel workbook that contains the athletes worksheet. I need to press Alt 11 to open the Visual Basic for Applications editor. I need to insert a new module by clicking insert module and then copy and paste the VBA code into the module. And then it gives me some instructions here. Modify the worksheet name if it's different from athletes. So if for some reason I'd renamed the worksheet, I would need to modify the VBA code. I then need to save my workbook and close the VBA editor. So let's do that. I'm going to scroll up to where we have the code and we don't have to select it this way. We have a copy code button on the right hand side. So let's click copy and let's go back to Excel. So now I need to open up the VBA editor. We're going to go to the developer tab and click on Visual Basic. Remember, you can press Alt F11 to do the same thing. So we want to make sure that we have the correct sheet selected, Sheet 1 Athletes. We're going to right click and we're going to insert a new module. And then all I'm going to do is press Control V to paste that VBA code in. Let's give it a save by clicking the Save button and then I can close the VBA window down. So let's give it a test. I'm going to go into Macros. There is the macro that it's created. It's called it Format and Save as PDF. So if I choose run, it's going away, it's working, it's reformatted it in the Excel worksheet and I'm getting a message box telling me worksheet formatted and saved as PDF and then we have the location. So let's jump across there and take a look. So there we are, I'm on my desktop, it's created a file called athletes.pdf and if I double click to open it, there is my nicely formatted PDF file generated by Microsoft Copilot. What do you think of that? I think it's pretty cool. This opens up so many possibilities when it comes to working with VBA in Excel. It's no longer necessary to know exactly how to code VBA, but it is helpful to know your way around, at least the VBA editor, so that if you do have to make any modifications or amendments, you know what you're doing. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there 
to see more videos from Simon Says It.